Hey guys, Jamie the Divine Seer here. How's everybody doing today? Ah, I took a couple days off. I had a lot going on, but you know what? I'm here now and that's all that matters. So thank you so much for everybody who's been patient with me. Thank you for all the new subscribers. Thank you for the donations. Thank you for anybody who emailed me for readings or healings. Um, I have gotten back to pretty much everybody for emails, ex for personal readings and healings. Um, I'll get back to the other ones too, but it's been crazy. It's been crazy busy and I'm just grateful for all of you here. Um, like the video on your way in, these are collective general reads. So if you actually subscribe to my channel, it helps me to pick up on your energy a lot better. Okay. Cause I am an extreme empath. I pick up a lot. Okay. I might pick up ailments and everything else. Um, with that being said, I'm a psychic media in my channel, the messages. So you'll have a lot of channel messages, usually in the beginning, um, or during or whatever, like whatever God wants me to do, <laughs> I'm going to do, um, anybody who wants a personal reading with me or wants to send me a donation, look in the description box, please play 111 was just on the clock. So somebody's on the right path. Okay. So donations, I put something up on my community post. Somebody's impersonating me on Cash App and on TikTok. So I don't do TikTok anymore. So just so you guys know, nah. Um, if you want to go look at some of the videos from before, you can. But I'm just telling you, somebody's impersonating me. And somebody's impersonating me for my Cash App. So if you're going to send any payments or any donations, please make sure of the spelling. Make sure you see it's me. If you go on the community post, I have it on there already for that's who I am. That's what my tag is. There's a reason. Okay. I'm just saying <laughs> there's only one me. <laughs> um, with that being said, man, I am super hot and I don't want to take off my sweater because I'm going somewhere. But anyway, um, with that being said, the numbers I was picking up today was 222, 123, 144, and 321. Something is about to happen. Something really, really big. Um, I know I say that on a lot of my readings, but I'm serious. Like there's something going on in the ethers. All right. I was being told for you guys to pay attention to your dreams. All right. I did a major clearing the other day when I was talking about how I wasn't able to dream and I had headaches and all that other stuff. And let me tell you something. <laughs> yeah. I can remember my dreams again. So this is good. But um, regardless, it's all about like, you know, figuring out what's your energy and what's not your energy. If somebody's sending you something and somebody's not, you need to pay attention to your body too. Your body will let you know. Okay. Somebody here needs to drink more water. Somebody here is drinking water as I'm, as I'm actually, as they're listening to this video, they're showing me the bee on my Burt's Bees chapstick, something about bees. Um, the sweetness of life. Something's about to happen for you. Bees also mean abundance, but they also have other things. 313. So something may happen tomorrow. Okay. March 13th. There's something here about the number 13 as well. Again, I pay attention to everything. So with that being said, you might be guided to go buy more crystals or you might be guided to go somewhere. And you're just like, I didn't plan on going anywhere, but now all of a sudden I feel like I'm like, I need to go somewhere. It's because you're being guided for a reason. You know, your spirit team's always going to guide you no matter what. But you might be having loved ones pop in your dreams. Um, I know my dad's been in my last couple, um, especially today. And I was just so grateful. It always feels like he's completely still here with me, but he is, but <laughs> it's different. You know, it's in a different realm. Also, there's something about, um, I did finally, I was, it was suggested to me by a friend to watch The Godfather, and I did. I did watch The Godfather again, and I'm just like, yep, sounds about right. <laughs> so something's going on. You could have a father energy, too, or a godfather that's, like, watching over you. Um, so just remember that. Godfather could be so many blessed meanings. Um, you know, just saying. Anyways. But that being said, the song I was getting since I woke up this morning, it won't go away. It won't go away. So spirits like you need to talk about it. I'm like, okay. So the song is Selfish by Justin Timberlake. If they saw what I saw, they would fall the way I felt. But they don't know what you want. And baby, I would never tell. If they knew what I know, they would never let you go. So guess what? I ain't ever letting you go. 
<clears throat> yeah, there's somebody here that that knows a lot about you, knows your worth, knows your value, falls in love with you every time they like, I don't know if you're talking to this person or not, but every time they like talk to you or every time they see your face or something, whatever you do, there's something here about this person falls really hard for you or fell really hard for you. Um, they don't want anybody else with you. I don't feel like this is a malicious energy or possessive or jealous kind of energy, even though it says selfish and if I get jealous kind of thing. It's more or less like a protective energy because I feel like this person, whoever this is, is very protective over you. And like I said, it could be like somebody like um, a loved one or something like that too. It could be a family member. It could be a friend. Um, something about the color orange. There's a guy running right now. He has the color orange on. So something about your sacral. Maybe there's like somebody's protecting you or like your. You may feel like you're heavily protected right now, which is great. Okay. Cause you are. All right. Then it says, cause your lips were made for mine and my heart would go flatline if it wasn't beaten for you all the time. Yeah. Something about hearts. Something happened September 21st, 2020. That just came on my feed. It's like a, oh, memory. I'm like, okay. So anyways, <clears throat> so if I get jealous, I can't help it. I want every bit of you. I guess I'm selfish. It's bad for my mental, but I can't fight it. When you're out looking like you do, but you can't hide it, no. Somebody sees you glowing up, looking really good. I'm hearing wanting a piece of that pie. <laughs> you must have really good pie. Wanting a piece of that pie. You could bake too. But there's something here about they feel that there's something going on. Maybe this person has mental issues or it's driving them crazy because it's like they want to make sure that that they come forward the right way. There's something here about them coming forward the right way too. put you in a frame. Ooh, baby, who could blame you? Glad your mama made you. Making me insane. You cannot be explained. You must be an angel. Yes, yeah, somebody like looks at you and finds you very mysterious, very mystical, very like there's something about you. I don't know what it is. It could be your energy. Everything is energy, right? <clears throat> it could be your energy. It could be the way you look. I don't think it's just physical though. There's something deep within you that it's like you may get a lot of attention. You may have people kind of flocking to you. You may go out and you have strangers come and talk to you or you have children staring at you or you have animals walking up to you or like everybody just comes up and tells you their problems. It's part of being an empath, right? But the thing is like this person feels very protective over you. Um, I don't, again, I don't feel like this is in a malicious way. I do feel like with him saying you must be an angel, I do feel like you have an angelic aura. You're very angelic. You have an angelic face or angelic like kind of energy to you, or you have a lot of angels around you that are protecting you. Every time the phone rings, I hope that it's you on the other side. I want to tell you everything, everything that's on my mind. And I don't want any other guys taking my place, girl. I got too, oh, I got chills everywhere. I got too much pride. I know I may be wrong, but I don't want to be right. Okay. <clears throat> so this person doesn't want anybody taking their place. Doesn't want anybody like coming in and being with you. And I know people in the comments are going to be like, well, too bad. I let go of this person. But you don't know. This could be a recent person. This could be somebody from a long time ago. Flip it. Flip. Put it where it needs to go. But have an open mind when you're listening to these readings. Okay. Use your discernment. Use your intuition. Not everything is going to be sometimes a person you think. All right. Because I feel like this person, like I said, I know I keep saying that, but I feel like this person has a protective energy around you like they they're wishing that you are the one calling you're the one texting you may not be in, com in conversation with this person you may haven't even seen this person for a while um this person has a lot of pride but there's something about them having to come to approach you in the right way they don't want to scare you off with how they feel about you because your lips were made for mine and my heart would go flatline if it wasn't beating for you all the time. So if I get jealous, I can't help it. I want every bit of you. I guess I'm selfish. Ooh, <clears throat> it's bad for my mental. 
but I can't fight it when you're out looking like you do, but you can't hide it. No. Sorry about the pitch. Okay, I'm not the best singer in the world, but I just felt like I had to. <clears throat> My voice is getting raspy right now too. There's something here about somebody has something to say to you. This person has something to say to you. This person wants to tell you how they feel. But again, they're a little nervous to come forward and talk to you. And then it goes, put you in a frame, ba ooh, baby girl. Put I almost said baby girl. Somebody gets called baby girl. Put you in a frame, ooh, baby, who could blame you? Glad your mama made you. Making me insane. You cannot be, you cannot be explained. Ooh, you must be an angel. Put you in a frame, ooh, baby, who could blame you? Glad your mama made you. Making me insane. You cannot be explained. You must be an angel. Jealous. Okay. So it says here, owner of my heart, tattooed your mark. There for the whole world to see. You're the owner of my heart and all of my scars. Baby, you got such a hold on me. So if I get jealous, I can't help it. I want every bit of you. I guess I'm selfish. It's bad for my mental, but I can't fight it. When you're out looking like you do, I guess I want it. But you can't hide it. I screwed that up. See? Okay, so I screwed up the lyrics there, right? This person feels like when they say something to you, they're going to screw it up. They're going to blah, 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 blah. So just be aware of that. Mm. Um, your name could be Malik or dealing with somebody named Malik. You could be dealing with a junior. Uh, Justin could be a name too. <clears throat> okay, so with that being said, see, and I got 4144 four, four right on my phone right now. You might be seeing 444 four, four as well. I got 444. Four, four. Again, everything is 1212 uh, 12 is on the phone. Or on the phone. Something about the time 1212, 12, possibly something about the phone. Okay. I was going to do the tarot first, but I think we're going to do the oracles. Okay, I was, I was asking for the collective. What your life purpose may be. You could be a healer. You could be a doctor, a nurse in the medical field. You could be somebody that does Reiki, somebody that does hands-on healing. Your energy could just heal people just by walking into the room, just by looking at them, just by talking to them. Uh, when you paint or when you draw or when you sing, there's something about your energy is very healing. You have the spiritual gift of healing and a desire to share it with others. Okay, somebody here is a healer. I believe that we all can heal ourselves. I definitely feel that, okay? But there's something about your energy is very healing to a lot of people, especially this person. And I feel like that's why you're being heavily protected right now. That's why this person feels very protective over you because this person knows that you'll just like, you get a lot of attention. Okay. There's something about you. You get a lot of attention. Trust, trust your feelings and dreams to guide your career path. Like I was saying, pay attention to your dreams. Okay. You have to have a lot of trust in what you do. Okay. This person absolutely trusts you as well. There's something here about maybe you're a seer. There's a crystal ball here. Maybe you're working with crystals. There's something here about you needing to trust your own judgment, trust your own intuition, trust your own voice. All right. Um, trust what you're doing is going to help a lot of people, whatever you're doing. Okay. I feel like this person here actually trusts you, knows you can heal them, knows you can help out. Something just scratched my, felt like an itch. Okay. You have to trust in who you are. You have to remember who you are and trust in who you are and love yourself. Okay. Books. You connect to your life purpose through your involvement with books. Thank you, spirit. Okay, so there's something here. You could be, you could be a reader. Okay, somebody who reads tarot or reads, and I know this is different, but somebody who reads a lot of books, somebody who's very intellectual, somebody who's very book smart, but also somebody that likes to research and learn. Okay, there's something here about possibly you two needing to write a book. You're needing to trust the guidance you're given. All right, because your words are going to hold a lot of power. The more you the more you research about yourself, the more you learn about yourself, the better it'll be. Then you've got creative expression. And this guy is painting, right? 
Your soul longs to express itself creatively. Again, you could be writing a book. You could just speak words. Your words hold power. Your words can be healing. Okay? Just your eyes can be healing to somebody. There's something here, too, about needing to express yourself in certain ways. Drawing, painting, lyrics, like whatever that is. Um, even pottery. Even clay, sculpting. Um, anything artistic. All right? There's something here about your words, your healing, your expression, how you speak is going to heal a lot of people. It's going to help a lot of people, okay? So we're going to use my, I think it's Pythia. I think this is called Pythia cards. I love these cards. I love, love, love these cards. Just know that something big is going to happen for you. Whatever this is, just you're, you're being guided towards a certain path. Um, and that's okay. And you need to trust that path because your guides and God and like your ancestors are guiding you down this way. There's something here about too, like, again, like maybe your, maybe your healing is like sweet. Like maybe you're such a sweetheart because I'm, I keep being drawn to the beat. Sweetness in life. You're about to reap the benefits of the sweetness in life. If you thought your life was over and nothing's going to happen for you or, oh, I'm too old for this or, oh, I'm, I can't do this. I'm too young. Like my daughter, let me tell you something. My daughter tonight, and those of you who know me, I love talking about my kids because I love my kids. Um, I don't talk about my oldest as much because I don't see him as much, but when he needs help, I'll be there. That's, that's, that's all that matters. Okay. He's busy. Anyway, um, my daughter's artwork. See all those paintings in the back? I got paintings everywhere. My daughter's artwork got selected. I don't know what our, our piece is, but selected for Buffalo State College. So that's where I'm going tonight with my kids. The bottom line is, whatever she does, her paintings, her drawings, whatever she does, that holds power, okay? And there's so much. She doesn't even realize it. She doesn't even realize, hi, Spider. Something about webs. Your dreams are coming true. Okay. She doesn't realize how much power and how much healing goes into just her paintings and her drawings. When we were at, um, when we were out this weekend, she got asked. She was like told she could have a vendor, like put up a vending thing and like display her artwork and sell it. Like. She just was like all like smiles and everything. I'm like, babe, I'm like, let me tell you something. I'm like, I'm telling you, you're going to help so many people just by what you do, what your paintings, your, your artistry. And it's like, she gets hard on herself and, and, and wants it to be better, better than what she's done. I'm like, listen, like I can't do half of the shit she does, but I'm so grateful. I'm so like happy for her. She expresses herself through paintings, through drawings, through artwork. Okay. You're never too young or too old or too whatever to do anything. She's going to be 17. This girl can have her own business now. So that's what I'm trying to tell her. And there she just got home. So the thing is, you never know. Wherever you're being guided, go that route. Wherever God is taking you, just go, okay, I'm going. So I'm just saying. You just never know what your words can do or your, your artwork or your musical lyrics or something can do to somebody. Like anytime I hear this song, I swear to God, I turn it up really loud because I freaking love the way the melody is, the way that the, the musical instruments are, the way he sings it, the way his like, I even watched the video and I was just like, oh my God, like I get it. Like you would think that this is an awful song sometimes, but this is a good song. Like, I just, I get it. So anyways, all right, let's go. So that's a little tidbit for you, okay? That's a little tidbit for you. For like, you need to speak. You need to say what you need to say. I also feel like this person needs to say how they truly feel. I feel like this person is dealing with a lot of um, anxiety right now. Like a lot of anxiety, a lot of nervousness. Because this person feels like, uh, I don't know if they feel like they're going to lose you or 
They're worried for your safety. There's something there. I get jealous. I can't help it. I love every bit of you. I guess I'm selfish. Bad for my mental. Yeah, this person doesn't show you everything that they're feeling inside because they feel like if they tell you and explain it to you or show you enough that you're going to think maybe they're too clingy or they're too much or something like that. It's like this person, they're scared. Who is this person? You will, you'd be able to heal this person, whoever this person is. You need to trust yourself. Trust what you're being guided to do. The sun. Apollo. Love Apollo. Okay, Apollo. God of light, truth, and prophecy. There's that musical instrument. Cows could be significant to you as well. Music. Sunflowers. The sun. You're about to be very, very happy, whoever you are, okay? Maybe you are very happy right now, and you're just living your life and doing your thing. But I'm hearing like Apollo is here to let you know that maybe you have the gift of prophecy. Maybe you're speaking your truth because you're you're lighting the way for other people too, okay? But I asked about this person, <laughs> even though I feel like this is you. I asked about this person. This person does feel happy when they think of you. They're sending you music or lyrics. So pay attention to that. All right. Some of you here are prophets. Our priest, high priestess, high priest. Are like literally like entrepreneurs. Or thinking about being entrepreneurs. Like owning your own business. Speaking your truth. Being the light for other people. This person sees your light. And that's what they're drawn to. And I feel like you prophesy something, maybe to this person. Yes or no? They said no. Yeah, there's something here about maybe this person sees you happy. And like, I keep looking at that spider. It keeps going everywhere. Something about feeling left out in the cold. <clears throat> this person sees you happy and feels like, you left them out in the cold, barefoot, just like literally bare. This person wants to bear their soul to you too. There's something here about the snow. It could be snowing where you are. Doesn't have to be. I don't know why I'm hearing Christmas lights. There's no Christmas lights here, but I'm hearing Christmas lights. Something about Christmas. Some Somewhere around Christmas time, something happened um, with this person or with you. There's a light on. I'm hearing there's a light on, but is anybody home? There's a light on, but is there anybody home? Okay, so with that being said, you're the light, right? You're trying to shine the light for, you know, others. If that's what you're, if that's what you're doing. Or they see your light, but they're wondering, like, if I go to your home, will you let me in? Yeah, see the oracle right here. They're stressing. Pythia, Oracle of Delphi. See how she's like stressed out? Somebody's wondering if you're home. Are you home? That's what I keep hearing. Are you home? Will you let me in? Can we heal this? Yeah. Somebody wants to come towards you. Six of Swords. Somebody wants to come towards you. Somebody's wondering if you moved on. This person's wondering if you moved on. Okay, they're headed right towards you. Remember I said something about Christmas? That looks like Christmas lights to me. On the, um, on the wreath, can you guys see it? I can't, I cannot. It looks like Christmas lights to me. Okay, so this person is on their way. Kronos, Titan of Time, King of the Titans, the Hermit. Could be a Leo energy, could be Virgo energy. Libra, Aquarius, Gemini. This person wants to come in and communicate something. I feel like this person is wondering, like, are they, like, they're running out of time. This person feels like they're running out of time. 
because it's like they want to be happy with you, but they feel left out in the cold. They're wondering if you're home. The light is on, but is anybody home? This person, there's that lantern again. Okay, something about the light, the light within you. They're drawn to the light within you, so they're coming, but they're they're worried that you're going to be, you're not going to answer the door. Page of Pentacles, Midas, king with the golden touch. I don't know why they put Midas on the Page of Pentacles like this, but there's something here about, they're, they want to offer you maybe like some sort of golden opportunity or like, Anything you touch turns to gold and they know it. Anything. And I, I, in this also, it doesn't even have to be a love relationship. This can also be a family or a friend or like something like that. Like, I'm going to be honest with you. I had two people this past week basically text me out of the blue that I haven't talked to in over a year. And I'm like, all of a sudden they're coming out of the blue. Um, it was weird. <laughs> I was just like, okay, I don't know what's going on. And it's not like, I don't know if the one watches my, my videos, but I know the other one does it. And I'm just like, what made you come to me? We haven't talked. We haven't seen each other in years. So it's kind of like weird, but there's something here about somebody knows you have like everything you touch turns to gold. You could be a healer. Like I said, you have a healing touch. There's something about you they want to come in and they want to offer this golden opportunity to you, offer like some sort of communication to you. They're coming towards you. This person's coming back towards you. You are going to have some people that are coming out of the past. I swear, I don't know if it's Mercury retrograde or what, but there's people that are going to be coming from your past that are going to knock on your door, that are going to call you, that are going to text you and want to know what you're up to. But you have to because they see your light. Your light is radiating out. Okay, they're feeling your energy. So it's like, oh, shit, let me let me contact that person. Okay, now I feel like the, I feel like whoever this is is coming towards you. Gondola, gondola, um, gondola or gondola. I don't know how to say it. But again, with that lantern, you're lighting the way for people. You're lighting the way for this person. This person wants to come towards you. See all the lights on the building? Is there anyone home? This person might be taking a flight towards you. I just heard that. Or this person may be traveling towards you somehow, some way, or wants to travel with you. There's something here about a golden opportunity maybe to travel. Knight of Swords, Perseus, Slayer of Medusa. Wanting to come in and speak truth to you. Hold on, I gotta see. <coughs> Somebody wants to come in and speak their truth to you. Whoever this is, they're moving towards you. They're coming slowly, but it's almost like the minute you turn your back, they're there. There's something about it coming super quickly, but going slow. Like slowly coming, but as soon as it hits, boom, it's gonna be fast. Somebody wants to come in from out of the cold. They feel like, Maybe they've been, they've been abandoned. With the Knight of Swords here, this is somebody who wants, like I said, taking flight. And then you have, so you have the Knight of Swords and the Knight of Cups. I have no idea how to say these names, so I might butcher them. Asclepius, God of Medicine. We have healer and we have medicine. There's something here about your healing. You can heal. Whatever this is, see how he's got the golden chalice? And then there's a snake there. There's something about the medical profession, possibly. Okay? Or like you're just a natural born healer. This person could be a natural born healer, too. They want to heal things with you. That's what I'm feeling. Whoever this person is wants to heal things for you. They want to give, like, I'm seeing an olive branch and, like, Medusa turning to stone. It's like... They, they're worried that you're going to actually, like, cut them off completely. They're worried that if they come in and they speak to you and they say what they have to say to you, that you're just going to, like, turn them to stone. Like, be stone cold towards them, possibly. But this person wants to come in and offer you something. Knight of Cups is somebody who's, like, 
very romantic, chivalrous. Somebody wants to like give of themselves. And this person feels like you have the Midas touch. There's something about you that, that really draws people in. And that makes people listen. You make people listen, whoever you are. It's like, you know, that grandparent, right? That never said anything. Not really. But it's like the minute that they said something, the minute that they got angry or something like that and sat somebody down and said, hey, and was stern, it's like everybody listened. There's something about that. Somebody here is listening to you, watching you be this light, be this beacon. It could be this person who wants every bit of you. This person who your lips were made for mine. Like you tattooed, you tattooed this person with your, your light, your healing ability. This person, it could be, here's another thing. It could be a friend of yours that is in, is in love with you. Like in love with you. Take it how it resonates. But there's something here about you do something to this person. They want to come in and they want to offer this cup of love. Because you have that Midas touch. You have that healing ability. You are able to heal this person. But they're afraid, like I said again, they're afraid that you're going to cut them off. And like they can't sleep at night. Again, there is that light on. But are you home? I keep hearing that. They want to know if you're home. This person wants, oh my God. Yeah. Okay. I mean, they want to know if you're home. Yeah. So that they could serenade you because look at four of wands, king of cups. This person, if it's not a lover and if it's a friend or family member, they want to heal things with you either way. If it's not, and this could be like a friend that, like, or, or a lover that turned into just a friend, and now they're realizing, like, your worth. They want to take a risk towards you. This card fell on top of the Knight of Cups, the lover's card. There is somebody here who is madly in love with you, feels everything about you, misses your healing energy, misses your, your touch, misses your light, you know? Misses you being happy with them. This person was happy with you before. Because they feel left out in the cold with you. With the lovers, Aphrodite, goddess of beauty, love, and passion. Look at these two. You guys could have held hands a lot. That's Cupid. Cupid is letting her know that somebody wants to be with her. That, that Cupid's like... Love is in the air. There's the heart. There's the heart. And then you have the fool here. Dionysus. Dionysus. God of wine, party, and pleasure. This person could be drinking a lot. This person could be like drinking wine or drinking alcohol or whatever like that. As the, of, the, of the thought of coming in and offering you this like I'm hearing love bomb, like, and I don't mean it like a love bomb as in a bad way. I mean, like a love bomb as in like love, like literally. Um, I was watching The Godfather yesterday, and this is the other thing. So in The Godfather, if anybody's ever seen the movie, uh, that was Al Pacino in his younger days. I was like, damn, <laughs> it's like Al Pacino, damn. Okay. So, and he played an awesome part. Oh my God, he was great as The Godfather. Anyway. There was this one part where Al Pacino was sitting at the table with his two bodyguards and there was all these women with kids walking and this one woman walked up and she looked like a Greek goddess. I swear to God. And her name was Ap 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 Apollina. Okay, Apollina. So Apollo, we start off with Ap Apollo, Apollina. So she's gorgeous, absolutely stunning, angelic. He's sitting here, he's just watching. She turns and she's walking with the kids. She says something all of a sudden. She goes, it stops and like stares at him. And then he's staring at her and they both stare at each other. And it's like they never, they don't know each other's name. They don't know anything about each other, nothing. And all of a sudden his friend said in Italian, oh, you were struck with a thunderbolt. 
She struck you with a thunderbolt. It's like he didn't know her name, nothing. He asked her father, hey, you know, can I date your daughter? I'd like to date your daughter. And back in those days, you know, the women followed the, well, if you're an Italian tradition, the women followed the, you know, the, the girl and the guy. And, you know, it wasn't all fornication. Like back in the, well, I can't say that, but I don't know. But in that, in that movie, it was, it was different. Anyway. I feel like the the reason why I'm saying this is I feel like this person feels like they're struck by Cupid. They've been struck by Cupid. I feel like when it comes to you, they're struck by Cupid. They can't, they can't be with anybody else. They choose you. They chose you. They want you. Okay. I feel like this person wants to like, see how the water is up. Their emotions are all over the place right now. You can be dealing with a Gemini and um, or an Aries. Excuse me, a Leo, a Virgo, or I want to say this Pisces. You got Cancer, Pisces. You got um, Leo, Sagittarius. Here, I'm telling you right now, this person wants to take a leap of faith and head towards you. Maybe this person was partying a lot. Maybe this person just thought about the pleasure with you before, if you were intimate with this person. But now this person is realizing they don't just want the pleasure. They don't just want the partying. They don't want to really drink anymore. I'm feeling that with this person. I feel like this person is going to need liquid courage in order for them to come towards you. I will say that. They're tired of the partying days. They're tired of like doing all the other bullshit. It's like because you struck them with your arrow. There's something here about being struck by Cupid. It's like they fell in love with you. I think the pine cone has to do with the pineal gland. Something about psychic. You're 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 very you're very psychic, and this person knows it. Oh yeah, this this fell on top of the Knight of Cups, so we're gonna put it here. This person may want to go out and celebrate with you. May want to go out and drink with you. Possibly, I don't feel like this person knows really what to say. They might be rehearsing, is what I'm hearing, on what to say to you. Something about the color purple and gold. All right, and I was guided to wear gold today, which is crazy because I'm more of a silver girl, but um, maybe this person sees you as royalty. Something about the way the your touch. And I'm noticing, too, with the hermit card and this, purple and gold. So something about purple and gold, and there is a lot of purple here. Purple is very healing energy to me. That's how I see purple. Crown chakra activations. This person is getting, um, you're, I, I'm hearing right now, this person's, you're their muse. This person wants to come in and celebrate with you. Um, I feel like this person wants to marry you. I really do. King of Cups, you got Orpheus, great bard and legendary musician. It's like I'm hearing um, they want to sing you a love song. They want to they want to express themselves through music, possibly to you. Their emotions, they're, they're, they have a lot of unconditional love for you. You got the four of wands right here. This person really, truly wants to marry you commit to you, whoever this person is. And I feel like the thought of you committing to anybody else, they can't handle it. It messes with their mental. They're very protective over you. And they feel like the only way that they can protect you is if they're with you. That's it. Like they're, they, they, they're wondering who you're with. They're wondering what you're doing. This person wants to commit. They've been, you, you struck them. You, you struck them with that thunderbolt. <laughs> you struck them with that thunderbolt. I wouldn't be surprised if Zeus pops out. It would not be. You even struck them with the, th with the thunderbolt. What else does this person want to say to the collective? Okay, so something about protecting you from some, some sort of chaos. I feel like this person... You got Callisti here. Golden apple of discord for the fairest. 
feel like this person maybe was poisoned about you. This person might have been told that you are with somebody else. This person might have been told. Yeah, this person heard lies. I'm hearing lies and rumors. What did I say? I said, I wouldn't be surprised if Zeus comes out and Zeus is right there. He's right fucking there. Okay. Yeah. Somebody was told lies, but somebody was told. This person was told that you don't want them. Maybe you don't. Free will. This person was told maybe that you're, you don't want them anymore. I'm hearing lies and rumors. Somebody was telling this person lies and rumors about you. They were poisoned by a bad apple. Somebody was a bad apple that was around this person. Or they had a bunch of bad apples. Or you had a bad apple around you. Take it how it resonates. There's somebody here that's been poisoning this person's mind. Let me see what Callisti is. I can't I love everybody. You're so selfish. Callisti. Callisti in Greek mythology. Kalos, which means beauty and thus to translate as the prettiest and most fair of all. A nymph or the daughter of king. I can. Somebody. Okay, so hold on. I gotta I gotta read this because I'm, I'm I'm intrigued. I'm intrigued now. Callisti is a Greek word that I discovered while reading Greek mythology. One myth that caught my eye involved a bevy of gods and goddesses, a snob, an apple, a young lad. In other words, all the makings for a true rich story. One day, Zeus was preparing a wedding party for Peleus and Thetis. Knowing how much mayhem Eris usually causes such affairs, Zeus decided not to invite her. Eris found out about the get-together. She decided that if she wasn't good enough to invite to what could be the social event of the season, then the least she could do would be to make the party just a tad bit more interesting than the usually godly gossip and boring god games. Ever the clever one, Eris fashioned a solid gold apple and engraved the word Callisti upon it. Callisti is the Greek word to the prettiest one. I still feel like that's lies and rumors about you, but that's, this person feels like you are the fairest of them all, you are the prettiest of them all. When the party was just about to get into Orhan's mist. Get into full swing. Eris rolled that golden apple into the party where it stopped between three lovely goddesses, Athena, Hera, and Aphrodite. No fucking shit. Oh, I just had them in my dream the other day. Anyways, um, once the three beauties set their eyes upon that apple, a huge argument commenced over whose apple it was. Who deserved the apple since it was for the one who was the prettiest? I know, said Athena. Let's ask Zeus. The emperor. This was a great idea. The only thing more discomforting than a goddess displeased because she wasn't chosen as the prettiest is two goddesses displeased because they haven't been chosen as the prettiest. That is the situation Zeus would have on his hands if he had, if he chose one of the lovely lasses who posed the question to him and not the other two. But Zeus was no Nimrod. He turned to the ladies and said, I am in no position to make such a choice. We must ask a man who can be completely objective. You ladies go to Paris and ask him. Zeus was not referring to the city of Paris, but rather a strapping young lad who was asleep under a tree or watching his sheep, depending on those whose story you're going to believe. <clears throat> now, I bet you can imagine the look on the surprise when all the all of a sudden you know, those three beautiful goddesses standing. The goddesses pose a question to Paris, which is which of us is the prettiest? And then individually proceeded to tempt him or bribe him, depending on whose story you're going to believe. Hera... The wife of Zeus offered him riches beyond his wildest fancy. Athena, the goddess of the hunt and battle, offered him victory and glory in battle. Aphrodite, the goddess of love, offered him the most beautiful woman in the world. Paris, being a young viral lad, of course, chose C, the most beautiful woman in the world. 
Aphrodite, being true to her word and ecstatic about being the most beautiful, gave him desire, gave him his desire. Thus Paris chose Aphrodite, and he in return received the most beautiful woman in the world, Helen of Troy. I am not fucking, I'm like, I cannot. I cannot. <laughs> I, I cannot. All right. I, all these people were in my fucking dream the other day. All of them. This is crazy. This sparked the famous Trojan War, which lasted many, many years and caused much chaos and mayhem. This in turn tickled Eris to tears. The moral of the story is be beautiful. When in doubt, pick C and always invite Eris to your so soirees. Please get yourself the best. Give yourself, get your, get for yourself the best of everything because you're beautiful. Okay. That is fucking crazy. Athena, Hera, Aphrodite, and the Helen of Troy. Jesus, Mary, and Joseph, and then the Trojan War. Okay, that's crazy. I cannot. I know somebody's already going to be texting me with this. Oh, my God. Ah! Oh, shit. Okay, so, Calista. Maybe this person had to choose between two people. And maybe this person feels like you're the fairest, you're the prettiest, or handsomest of them all. Okay? And that's, honestly... If you're made an option, what the fuck is that? Like, what the fuck is that? But here's the thing. I feel like this person knows you're the better choice. And I know people are going to be like, oh my God, I'm a choice. What? Listen, okay. There's somebody here who feels like you are the full package. Peacocks. Just so you know, Hera... Cows and peacocks. And I think something, some other, some other, oh, thank you, Spirit, for reminding me. Something about birds. Okay, so today I was driving and I saw birds in pairs consistently. Two geese, two brown birds, two black birds, two crows. Everything was two. So you might be coming into a partnership soon with somebody. Um... Something about the peacock, the oracle, Pythia, oracle of Delphi. Somebody told this person something about you, possibly. Maybe they thought you were leaving or maybe they felt like you were with somebody else or somebody told somebody that you were with somebody else or that you were leaving them. You didn't want them anymore, okay? And I feel like, I feel like somebody here was trying to, I'm hearing stoop too low for this person. Like this person was really trying to, because the other thing I was getting to when I was hearing this song, I was getting the message too about this person who you want, their friend or their best friend or whatever, if they have like, you know, opposite sex or even same sex, doesn't matter. Their friend was in love with your person. And trying to keep your person from coming towards you, trying to keep somebody from coming towards you because they were in love with your person. If you're the prettiest of them all, the handsomest of them all, this person wants to give you that apple. However, I feel like this is also poison, something about poison. Somebody wanted to cause chaos within this di dynamic between the two of you. And maybe that's why this person feels they have to protect you. They're very protective. Who are you with? What are you doing? They're going through mental issues because they're like, I don't want it. I, I don't want this. Maybe you were told that this person doesn't want you anymore either. And that this person moved on or you saw something where this person moved on from you. But it's farthest from the truth is what I'm hearing, because I feel like you are this person who's independent, self-sufficient. You're the full package. You're the catch. You check off all the boxes for this person. You're the fairest of them all. Kind of like Snow White, right? You talk to, like, you have the healing ability, healing qualities. There's something here. You may have itchy fingers. You may have eczema, dermatitis, I'm hearing too. Um, I don't know that much about medical shit, but anyways, like medical, whatever, how you label it. But there's something here. You may have green eyes. You may have green eyes because I'm being drawn to the green eyes. Green or blue eyes. Green or blue eyes. Um, or your eyes turn color. Hazel, whatever. 
Your eyes turn color. Um, the bottom line is there's something here about this. This was somebody sees you. Somebody sees you as somebody very psychic. Somebody with prophecy. Somebody who speaks truth, speaks light into people. This person sees you as somebody that could see things. They've seen you in their future. Thank you, Spirit. I just heard that. Thank you. They see you in their future. They've seen you in their future. Maybe they've been dreaming about you. Maybe they've dreamt about you before. And then all of a sudden they had a deja vu and was like, hold on a second. This person could have been told that you're supposed to be with them. This person could be getting, you know, readings on you. This person can also, also like something happened within this person that they foresaw something with you. And they, maybe it's a commitment. Maybe it's marriage. Maybe it's something like that because you have the emperor here. Okay. I felt like this was two cards. Zeus, God of the sky, ruler of all the gods. I said Hazel. He's got hazel eyes. Um, Thunderbolt. This person, this person might have had a uh, past life, like knows your knows you you've been in their past life with them. You guys have had many past lives together, possibly. There's something here. It could be like something about Greek mythology. That's why I was picking Greek mythology. Besides my dream that I had. Because I, I had Zeus in my dream and I was talking to Zeus, like for real, <laughs> like for real. Um, past two days, I've been seeing nothing but gold in my dreams and I'm being guided to wear gold. So I don't know what's going on, but there's something here. Maybe you have a golden aura. There's something here about, maybe this person prayed to God about you or you, that's what it is. This person prayed for you. And when they, when they saw something about you, they were told by the gods or they were told by God, that's your person. Or you, or this is you, flip it and reverse it. Anything else? And yes, just because it says emperor does not mean that it's just, you know, flip it and reverse it, guys. Emperor, empress, all right? Queen of Wands, you guys saw that, flew on top of the Five of Pentacles, the Hermit, and the Knight of Swords, okay? So I'm going to pick it up. Hestia, goddess of hearth, home, and family. Yeah, this person, sunflowers again. There's something here, and I'm, I'm interesting because it was next to the other, next to the sun card. Hestia. This person finds you absolutely attractive. You are very magnetic. You are very intuitive. Um, something about fire. Maybe you work with fire, the fire element. Leo energy here. You got Aries here. Virgo energy again. Taurus energy. I keep hearing the part where he says, every time the phone rings, I hope it's you on the other, on, on the other end. This person's been maybe... Trying to get you to call them, trying to get you to talk to them. 53, 33, so 333. Your manifestations are about to come into fruition. King of Pentacles, God of Wealth. Something's going to be bestowed to you. There's somebody coming in. You could have a choice between two, but I feel like this is somebody that's been working on their stability. This person knows that you're more stable. You're very stable. You're very. I'm hearing you work well with others. You're very kind, very giving, very loving, compassionate. Queen of Wands, very sexy, very alluring, very mystical, magical, very um, intuitive, highly psychic. This person knows you could see things. There's something here about, besides the Queen of Wands being all of that though, there's something here, they love your body. It's like this person feels like they've been like, like their heart is never going to be the same if they don't come in and talk to you. This person could have been working on their wealth. 
Is that a platypus? I think it's a platypus. Do I have a platypus somewhere? I thought about the platypus the other day, too. What does platypus mean? It's going to drive me nuts. I'm going to have to look it up. Sorry. Sorry. This is how I do things. Every time I follow names. Your name could be Lily. Or lilies might be your favorite flower. Um, somebody could drive a Dodge Ram, a white Dodge Ram. Platypus spiritual. Spiritual animal. It guides the animal through dark waters where it keeps its ears, eyes, and nose covered. The platypus teaches you to rely on the ebb and flow of vibes. Oh. Mm -hmm. The platypus is also used by some Aboriginal peoples as a totem, which is to them a natural object, plant, or animal that is inherited by members of a clan or family as their spiritual emblem. And the animal holds special meaning as a totem animal for the Wadi Wadi people who live along the Mur Murray River. Okay, that's crazy. What abilities does a platypus have? Unlike any other mammal on this planet, platypuses have the curious ability to perceive underwater prey using underwater detection referred to as electroreception. Electroreception allows platypuses to use electrical impulses to locate objects in the deepest and darkest of waters. Wow. Come on, what does it mean? Okay, so the platypus spirit animal is associated with renewal, transformation, and adaptation. It encourages us to be open-minded and ready for change. What did I tell you guys about this? It's the animal of investigation and curiosity. Okay, so this person is extremely curious about you. <laughs> but also, like... Oh, what a, what, shoot, what was I saying? Open-minded. You have to stay open-minded because somebody here, somebody here is going to be coming in. And again, it could, it could be a different person than you're thinking. It doesn't have to be. But this person's been working on their money and their stability. They're trying to maneuver ways to become more stable. They also see you as very stable too. Anything else? I know this is getting long, but... Yeah, this person is tired of watching. They know you're on guard or like they know you're heavily protected. Whoever this person is knows you're heavily protected. Look at that, Athena. Queen of Swords, Athena, goddess of wisdom, warfare, and crafts. Owls, they, this person knows that you're like protecting your heart and that you're, you have boundaries up. You're like, maybe you have walls up about, you know, with this person. And there's something here about, yeah, I'm hearing meeting at the gates, like something about the gates. Gatekeeper, if you're a gatekeeper, there's somebody here who knows you're heavily fucking protected. You're being heavily protected right now. I'm telling you, there's somebody here You're going to have, whatever this is, yeah, God of the dead and king of the underworld, death, there's a change coming into your life. There's a transformation being made, okay? Somebody's going to lose out. Somebody has to come in and be vulnerable in order to be with you. This person feels like you are literally with someone else or you're going to find someone else and they're very protective over you. They don't want you with anybody else. They don't trust. I'm hearing they don't trust anyone else. See? Because they feel like you're going to get hurt. They don't trust anyone else because they feel like they're gonna, you're going to get hurt. And that's the truth, Ace of Swords. Era, statue at Rome. I kind of want to go to Rome, Italy. No, I was thinking yesterday, I kind of want to go to Sicily. I kind of want to. I kind of want to go to Sicily. I'm like, you know what? I don't mind Italy, but I'll go, I'll go to Sicily. Why not? All right, so here you have 
Page of Swords, Achilles, great hero with where with weak heel. Yeah, see? This person he had arrows shot right at him. All right? And then in the distance, he's got protection in the background. All right? These arrows have been, like, this person's protecting you. I'm telling you, they are protecting you. Or there's somebody here that knows that you are this person's weakness, and somebody's trying to keep you and this person from being together because they're stalking and watching you. They're watching to make sure you're not with this person yet. Or they're not, or that you're with somebody. They're want, they're wanting to, there's somebody here. Somebody's being sneaky. I don't feel like it's this person. I feel like this person is protecting you. I keep feeling that energy. There's that Cupid again. Two of Cups. This person wants to make sure that they protect this connection. Your connection is protected. This is what you want. Your, your connection is protected. Okay, they can't get through the gates. Athena's there right? Or whatever other guides you have. Boundaries are up. No one's getting through the bullshit. Like th this person knows they can't bullshit you either. So maybe they know you're a little guarded too. And you will be a little guarded when they come towards you because they know you could see right through bullshit. All right. There's something here about I'm hearing too, like you're a natural born leader. So, like, you already have these qualities of stuff like this. Um, I also feel like, though, this person's defending you against anyone who's against this connection. There's something here, too, about, again, he's protecting this connection, but he's being protected. You are this person's weakness, and there's somebody here that's been watching that's been maybe sending arrows towards you. Somebody, okay, so here's another thing. Spiritual warfare is a thing, people. Like, we have no idea how much, this is just the 3D plane, but we don't know how much is going on in the spiritual realms, all right? And I talked about, you know, we, we mentioned the Helena Troy, the Trojan War. There's, there's something happening in the ethers. I can tell you that right now. I'm not going to go into all of it. I'm not going to go into my whole dream, but I'm telling you right now, there was a whole bunch of people that I mentioned that, that he brought up. Um, there's something here about your spirit team is protecting you, protecting this connection, protecting you and this person from all the arrows that is being sent towards you. You're heavily protected. Somebody knows this. Somebody's trying to get through but they can't. They're being stopped at the gate. They're not being let through. You also see through this person. You also see through. You could see things before they happen. You're warned before they happen. You're an oracle. You can foresee things before things come about. There's somebody here that was trying to send you or your person or both of you arrows and, and, and it's making your spirit team pissed. <laughs> that's another thing I'm getting. There's also somebody here, maybe that's connected to your person or the person you want to be with, that is watching you and is trying to send stupid magic bullshit that they know nothing about towards you. And it's being stopped. Because this person, whoever this is doing this, or it could be a group of people, is met with, mm -mm, the owl, wisdom. You have wisdom. Your guides, whoever your guides are, are very strong. Very strong guides. There's no way, I'm hearing there's no way anybody's going to get through that gate. You are highly protected right now. You're working on your stability. You're working on like whatever your purpose is. Whatever is about to happen for you in this connection, you're both going to be able to heal this. Anything else. This will be healed. This will be healed as long as you have faith and you trust. Yeah. Because this person, see that three of swords? You've been hurt before and this person knows this. There's something here about you're the top of the fruit. You're like literally the top of the tree. 
This person's waiting for the right time. They're trying to invest in you. They planted the seeds already. You planted the seeds. Your harvest season is here, is what I'm hearing. Nobody's going to take away what you, what's, what's yours, is what I'm hearing as well. The high priestess. Persephone, goddess of fertility and queen of the underworld. Because again, you're a seer. You're like a natural witch. You're somebody that has abilities, foresees things. Oracle and high priestess, you're heavily, heavily like psychic, okay? But you also see like, like being the queen of the underworld. You see what's about to happen. Like something about your dreams, the platypus, like seeing things underwater, seeing things in the dark. You're the light. You are the light collective. You. So whatever you're doing, keep doing. Okay? You're, you're very wise. You have an ancient, ancient, ancient knowledge and wisdom within you. Okay? You hold the keys. You hold the book. All right? Whoever you are, do not disregard your healing abilities. Do not disregard your abilities at all. Okay? You can foresee a reconciliation with somebody coming. You could foresee if somebody's been against you. You could foresee things. You already see it. You also have the gift of knowing, the clear cognizance. You know something's about to happen. You're just waiting. You're just waiting it out. You're not putting a time limit on it. You shouldn't. Don't worry about time limits. Okay? There's something here about a celebration coming in. You're going to celebrate real soon. Whoever you are, you're going from three of swords to three of cups. You're going to celebrate really soon. Yeah, because whoever was trying to hurt you, whoever was trying to fucking send anything to you. Queen of Pentacles. Oh, brown bunnies mean something too. I saw brown bunny today. Um, Whoever was trying to send anything to you, to harm you, to hurt you, to break your heart, if anybody's ever broken your heart, I have no idea how to say these names. We're done, Mathis, Ayakas, and Memo. I have no idea. Judges of the underworld. Again, with the underworld. Somebody's getting karma. Whoever's been trying to send magic or send spell work or send anything towards you or your person or towards the connection is about to get karma. Okay, because you can't just, I don't understand how people do that. I don't, I don't understand how people think that if they hurt people intentionally or they do things intentionally to somebody, that it's not going to come back on them. Excuse me, spirit burp. Thank you for the confirmation. This person is going through massive, massive karma. Massive karma. See the lost souls? This person may be a lost soul. Whoever this person is, whoever these people are, there might be, a, like I said, a whole group. You got God on your team. You got your spirit team. Your guides are really protecting you against this heartache, against whatever was, was meant to hurt you and harm you. That's why I said they'll be stopped at the gate. This person, you are this person's weakness. I'm telling you, this person has been protecting you as well. Somehow, some way, this person feels like they need to protect you from something. Or you were protected from something that this person, which I'm not, that this is only a short few of you, that this person was planning on doing to you to knock you off your game, to get you away from your purpose. It's not going to happen. Not going to happen. I heard not at all. Um, I am getting very itchy right now. Let's get you out an affirmation card. And then I'm going to go because I'm going to go get my kids. Let's get you an affirmation card. Mm -hmm. I'm going to collective need to know, please, spirit. What the collective need to know, please, spirit. Give me one affirmation card, please. Belief. Thank you. They said look down. 
I believe in myself, the beauty of life, and the goodness of God. Thus, I have the power to fulfill my dreams. The will of the Almighty supports me. My life is showered in divine light, and my heart opens to the power of the universe. That's the only one I'm going to send you guys. That's it. Believe. Believe in yourself. Believe in your own intuition. Believe in God and your spirit team. Believe that you are protected. And know you are protected. Know and trust yourself. Okay? Nobody can take away anything from you unless you let them. No one can control your life unless you let them. All right? Believe that you know, like, that everything's going to be okay. Everything's going to be okay. Always. Everything always works out for me. For me. For my highest good. Okay? Affirmations are very, very important right now. It actually does rewire the brain. I'm telling you, mindset is everything. You need to believe in yourself. Trust in your abilities. Trust that you trust what you know. Trust what you see. And I don't mean in the physical. Trust what you're being shown. Trust, trust what you're seeing. You're foretelling, whatever that is. Okay? Get out of your way. Get out of the overthinking. The overthinking can literally... Like stop and block your blessings from coming in. You need to have an open heart. And be open-minded when it comes to how this person's going to come in, who this person is going to be, all that kind of stuff. All right? There's an opportunity coming in for you, though. So be open-minded with, with what happens. Because I'm going to tell you what, like, when we have, like, a specific way things are going to happen, and we try to, like, control it, and we try to control the universe, it's not going to work out the way we want it. It's like we can't control the universe. We can't control God. We can't control our spirit team. We just release, surrender, let go. God, take the wheel. Bring in who's meant for me. You know, whatever, whatever you want. Acceptance is key. Detach from any outcomes. Drop the expectations. I have dropped a lot of expectations with people. I've like literally like said, you know what? I, I'm just going to accept them for who they are. I'm going to accept, you know, myself for where I am right now, what I'm doing for who I am. And acceptance is key. When you accept things, instead of expecting, your life will go a hell of a lot better. Go with the flow. I hear so many times like my son has a problem with plans, right? So he has a problem with transition he's autistic. He has a problem with transition. So like, if you don't tell him ahead of time, like, Hey, we're going at this time or, Hey, we're doing this. Even this morning, I told him this morning, I was like, we're going here after school. We're doing this. He got all pissed off. Why do we have that? I'm like, listen, like this was on the calendar. I'm telling you ahead of time. You can't get mad at me because I'm doing this, but he's the type of person that if plans don't go his way. He starts throwing a fit let go of that. Like, like with him, it's, it's harder. I'm, I'm trying to work on him, but it's part of his disability, but you know what? He's a beautiful boy and I don't care. Like I, I accept him for who he is, but plans will not always go the way you want them to go. Sometimes, most of the time, the way God has it, God's timing is so much better than you can expect. Trust the timing. Don't worry about when this person's coming. When is this person going to communicate? Why aren't they here yet? Blah, 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 blah. What are you doing for your life? Or are you just worried about being in a commitment consistently? What? York? Whatever. Um, or are you just like to the point where you're getting to the point where you're lonely, you're tired of being alone? What is it that you still have to heal within yourself? Because when you get to the point where you're good on your own and you don't feel you need anybody to, you know, to come towards you. Hmm. Oh. When you're getting to that point where, you know, just go with the flow. 
I don't even know what I was just, sorry. Some just took my attention away. <laughs> um, you need to trust yourself a little more. You need to believe that there is somebody out there that loves you wholeheartedly and that somebody's meant for you. Stop worrying so much about, about who's coming, when are they coming, what are they, when are, how are they going to come, da, 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 da. Listen, you can visualize it and leave it. You can write it down, leave it. Let God take the wheel. Or just ask God to, like, bring you who you're meant to be with. Because honestly, like, it's kind of like, I don't know. I was talking about something about lonely. Don't, just because you're lonely doesn't mean you have to go back to an ex. Or just because you're lonely doesn't mean you have to go back to somebody that treated you like shit. Or like beg for them back because you don't want to be alone. Being alone is absolutely fantastic. You learn more about yourself. You get to do things you want to do. You learn like how to cope with things, you know? It's not like you're alone because you're not. You have your spirit team. But a lot of people don't remember that. One, one 15, 55 is just on the clock, so five, five, five. A lot of people don't realize like when you feel alone, your guides, your loved ones, your ancestors, ascended masters, God, you're getting messages. Try watching a movie. My daughter has a tendency to consistently, like, like yesterday, she was watching The Godfather with me a little bit yesterday. And then she's like, I just want to know what the, like, what's going on. Like, I want to know, like, what the whole plot is. And then she was trying to figure it out. And I looked at her and I go, can you not try to figure out the movie? I used to do that. Used to take away a lot. Um, and I said, can you not, like, can you just like enjoy the movie? Go with the flow. I says, you're going to miss the messages. And after she found out it was a three hour movie, she was like, okay, I'm out. Bye. It's boring. I'm like, okay, fine. So she left. But when I stayed in the moment and I stayed present and I just listened and I watched and I was like, okay, let's see what this has to do. I swear to God, I got, I got messages. This is what happens. Do things you love to do. Paint, draw, do your music. Get on a fucking platform and start your start using your abilities. I'm telling you, like, so many people don't, don't realize, like, cooking. Okay? I'm hearing cooking. You could cook. You could bake. You, if you put that love into your cooking and love into your baking and all of a sudden people love your cooking and they're like, how do you make this? How do you make this? How do you make this? Listen. If you have a specific recipe that you make, you can sell that shit. Come on now. Like, get creative. Anyway, that being said, that was it. If you know the plot before it happens, if you know what's about to happen, you're not going to enjoy the ride. Okay, I've learned that. I was taught that by somebody, and I have been learning that. And I'm telling you right now, Enjoy the ride because you don't know what's about to happen. And I'm telling you something big and it's going to be better than expected. Okay. All right. Well, I love you guys. Okay. I am not probably not going to be on the rest of the day, but we'll see. Um, your name could be Richard or dealing with a Richard because that name came up. Um, with that being said, or your name Sarah as well. Um, if anybody wants a personal reading with me, go in the description box. I couldn't think about that for a minute. Um, or anybody that wants to send me donations, Cash App, Venmo, PayPal, okay? Please pay attention to my Cash App. Watch the spelling of my first name. Somebody's impersonating me. I have my picture as my Cash App. It's on the community board, the community post. If you want to go back to look and see and go, oh, okay, that's her. So that you make sure you're giving donations or paying for your readings that way. Because I'm telling you right now, when somebody starts, I know people say, oh my God, that's such a, that's such a compliment when somebody impersonates you. It's great. I believe so. Yes. But I don't like when people take advantage of other people. I don't like when people actually act like me and play on people's like thing like that. It's kind of like, why do you have to do that? Why do you have to place, act like somebody else's identity? There can only be one you. But I don't like people being taken advantage of and people thinking they're sending it to the right person and then that person doesn't give them a refund because, well, you sent it to them. 
that my fault you didn't know. Well, or like people playing on the elderly or people playing on animals. Like I cannot, I cannot. It's a whole other, it's a whole other read. <laughs> it's a whole other read. Oh, anyway. That's why I went with my mother when she wanted to go get her car. I was like, no, I'm going with you. <laughs> uh-uh. Going with you. Anyways. All right. I love you guys. Thank you so much for everybody who has subscribed to my channel. I know this is a little bit of a long one. I haven't been on in a couple days. I got a couple more things I got to do, but it is what it is. <sighs> Just enjoy. Enjoy yourself. Believe in yourself. Trust that God has you. Have a lot of faith. And know that everything's going to be okay. All right? Okay, like the video, subscribe to my channel. Bye.